Hi friends, I'm so glad to have you back in my studio. My name is Fola uh, from Physique Court Fashion House channel. We are so glad for as many that has been subscribing to this channel. It really goes a long way. So, and as many that have not subscribed, do where to subscribe today. Thank you. So today, we'll be learning how to make a detachable tray. So, um, to achieve that, we'll be using this uh, Italian silk to make it. We need this of like uh, two years. We need like two years, but ensure that it is by 60, even if it's more than, like, because like this one I'm using is like by 62. You get like 65, it's okay, so that the more the length, the more it flows. So I will be needing this um, rose pin. Let me just show you how it looks like. This is it. So here we have it. This hole you are seeing here is where you will use a needle and thread to uh, to you know tack it to your fabric. So it's detachable. The waist circumference will be working with is a 28 so that 28 just divide it by two to give us a 14 because we'll be dealing with just um back half of our waist circumference so that is why we have to divide our waist circumference by two to give us a 14. so that 14 now we will be using 90 degree you know method to cuts out our flay and to achieve that uh, you know the formula for the circumference of 90 degree flay is a uh, 2 pi r divided by 4 so i've written on the screen how you use that to calculate the radius for uh, 90 degree flay and uh, you know the circumference we are working with now is 14 inches as we said earlier on that it is half of our waist uh, circumference so we are going to fold our fabric now. You know, I told you we we'll need like a two years of fabric and let the length of the fabric be 60 or more down. And if you use um, length 45 or 50 or 52 for this uh, project, it means you it will have joined. So it's very close to two years. The, the reduction of just like six inches we are good to go so the next thing we have to do now is to fold our fabric this way so to fold your 90 degree all you need to do is to take one tip of your fabric just the way you see me doing this tip then you now fold it into two this way so hope you are seeing what i'm doing so the nine inches that we have you know calculated earlier so you get that nine inches which is our radius so you just mark it round here as you mark it round you measure what you are having here ensure that it matches so you now measure it this way you can see when you measure it round it give us seven so by the time we and you know it's on foot by the time we cut it and open it it will give us 14 which is a um circumference we are looking for now as i folded it i've pinned down my fabric you can see and the the uh, length of my current waist to uh, uncle is a uh, 42 43 so that 43 now we are going to achieve that 43 here so that 43 you now had between 18 to 20 inches you had it to the the actual length of your uh, client from uh, waist to nail from waist to nail of my client is 42 so if i had a uh, 20 to hit it gives me 62 so which means uh, we get this side where it is folded where, where it is open this is the, this will be the side of my train so i uh, will get 43 here 
but by this side where it is folded where it is unfold i will get 62 here then i will now connect it to that uh, 42 over there so just do it as your fabric permits you because i guess this is the 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 half range you want to achieve a very beautiful trim so what i will do now is that i will mark 42 here from this uh, nine inches i get my 42 43. so that's for the side so for the for the center of my train now where my fabric is on full from these uh, nine inches i will get a uh, 62 I will use 62 if you like you can use a 65 as your fabric permits you so I will get I will begin to get that 62 to go and meet that 42 yeah. so I'll be placing my tape from this 9 inches and be getting my 62 as this is 60. We have a. I'm getting 60. And you are told that you can use a 60. So I can begin to reduce it small, small. Maybe by one, one inch for me to, you know, I'm going to meet it at a 42. So. Reducing it as you are walking it towards to meet you. Forty two. So now I take it back from this uh, for the three or dry about and we we progress. So you are good to you know cut it on the floor because your table might not be able to to accommodate it many a times. So we just connect it together. So the next thing is for us to cut it. I will first of all cut it up here. I want to cut it down here. You can do that on the floor. You just turn it for us to be on itself. So now we have cut out our fabric. So the next thing we want to do now is that at the uh, waist region here. So what we do is that because here now, let me just measure it for you. We are having uh, our 14 inches or thereabouts. We now just we have 15 inches, so the remaining we serve as a, a seam allowance. So, but what we want to achieve is that that's our half back. I mean, have a waist circumference. We still divide it into two because what we are working towards in this project is quarter of our waist circumference. The way we are going to place it is going to be quarter. So what we do is that, you know, half of this one now will give us a seven inches or seven inches. So what we do is that we just take it to the machine, run stitch on it and gather it to achieve that uh, seven inches. So we now get, we get a uh, strap, we get strap of uh, 1.5 inches by um, 8 inches, you know, we we'll use a upper pitch for a seam allowance. So we cut out 
1.5 by 8 inches or 9 inches. So, so you do that after you fold, fold the side. You first of all fold, uh, fold the side by half inch A, half inch A. Then, for the down parts, you can go ahead and, you know, baby lock this down part or you fold it. You fold it tiny, tiny folding here. So you fold it very tiny in your machine. You are good enough to do that, you know. Flare used to give a little problem in folding. But you can go ahead and uh, overlock it down there. So after, you know, folding the two sides and gather it to become seven inches, you will now use this to pipe, to pipe it, to pipe that your seven inches quarter of your waist circumference. And so after doing that, we are going to attach like two or three of these to it for us to be pinning it to the main base. Now, we've gone ahead and, uh, you know, uh, stitch our strap on it. Uh, we have folded it up. This is the gather. We have gathered it to become a uh, seven inches or thereabouts. Yeah. So, and I've uh, stitched the side, the two sides. So you just go ahead and uh, um, overlock the, the down part, the tip train. So the next thing, which is the final stage that we are doing now is to attach this uh, um, blue chair pin to heat. So, and to achieve that, all you do is just uh, place it this way. We are going to place one here. This is the wrong side. We are going to place one here. Place one at the center. Then place the last one. So we are going to place three there so that it will stay well. So I will just... We are going to place it anyhow. So I will just uh, attach it to the train. This way, so I don't allow it to be showing at the right side here. So we gently stitch it. So I'm just uh, close it here by tying it down. So I cut the I cut the thread. So this is it. So this is the the same way I will attach the remaining two to it. Now, this is it. Our pin has been attached to the tray. We just close it this way. We open it and attach it to the pin dress. So this is it now. Mm -hmm. The pin has been attached to the uh, tray. So this is to the way to open it. So you close it this way. So. All we need to do is to go ahead and attach it to the, main, the, the, the back of the main dress and one side of the back. That is quarter of the back. So we'll go ahead and tie it and we're good to go. I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. So give it a um, like it, <laughs> share with your friends and uh, family forget to drop your comments on the comment section and uh, subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.